Lucky on the phone? Yes. <clears throat> Look, Elizabeth, I... I want to apologize. Come on, I know I came down really hard on you yesterday. Well, you think I seduced Jason? No, you didn't. Clearly. You didn't. Clearly, I get that now. You didn't get pregnant on purpose. Well, for what it's worth, I probably would have had the same reaction. That's decent of you to say, but... You are in a really difficult situation right now, and I shouldn't have taken my pain out on you. Well, thank you for your apology. Hopefully, this baby will turn out to be Lucky's. Yeah. I mean, I, I hope so, too. Elizabeth, I mean, don't you think that Lucky has a right to know the truth either way? Elizabeth and I were married once. She's a good woman, and she's in an impossible situation. Lucky is a drug addict. I'm sure that Morgan took advantage of her vulnerability and her pain. Now she could be pregnant by some gangster. No offense, but that sounds personal. Our job is to obtain evidence. Well, then you obtain it, Cruz. But you do it without involving Elizabeth. I want Morgan tried and convicted as soon as possible. That way, Elizabeth will be safe, and so will her baby. What are you going to do if you're the baby's father? Have you figured out a plan? Because as much as Elizabeth says she wants to raise her kids alone, she really wants to be with and them. And how, how do you know that? Elizabeth loves Lucky. If he can make it through recovery, they might Jason, have a chance to... get real. If you turn out to be the baby's father, Lucky is out of the picture, and Elizabeth is going to show up at your door ready to set up house. What are you going to do then? I told her my life is dangerous. Okay, you're gonna leave the business? You know I can't leave. You want out, you pay a price. I make commitments I can't go back on. So if Elizabeth and her kids were to come with me, I'd be exposing them all to a life of danger. Elizabeth doesn't want that. You could always push her away, just like you did to Sam. I've learned my lesson. Okay, so you're gonna let... Elizabeth decide whether she wants a I've learned or not. my lesson. The risk would be hers to take. Do you hear what you're saying? You'd be Elizabeth's for the asking. And Sam's just out. <sighs> Carly, I hate how much this is hurting Sam. Okay, but I you're doing it. it anyway. Well, if the baby didn't ask to be conceived, shouldn't my first obligation be to my child? Ask yourself this question. Can you spend the rest of your life without Sam? Can I speak to you privately? Yeah. Is this about Lucky? In a way. Oh. Look, I'm breaking all kinds of rules here. But you're the wife of a fellow officer, and Lucky's my friend. And I wouldn't fear right if things got messed up for the two of you and I hadn't told you the truth. The truth about what? <sighs> Last night, we had her monitor on Jason Morgan's penthouse. We monitored the conversation you had with him. D.A. Lansing knows that Jason Morgan could be the father of your child. Tell me exactly what Rick heard from the bug in Jason's penthouse. You said that it would destroy Lucky, but it turns out that Jason's the father of your baby. Oh, my God. I'm not judging you. I just thought you should know. What if Rick tells Lucky? Rick and I used to be married. I know. And then he had a breakdown, and he did some terrible things, and... I heard all kinds of rumors. He can be volatile, he can be dangerous, but I don't think he would deliberately set out to hurt me. I mean, not now, especially while I'm pregnant. So why would he say anything to Lucky to undermine his recovery? All I know is that Lansing pulled the plug on the surveillance and destroyed all copies of the tape as soon as he heard that part about you and Morgan. Whatever Lansing's up to, he obviously doesn't want word getting out. But I thought you had a right to know. Thanks. I, I appreciate that. You think I should tell Lucky? That's your call. But given the situation, don't you think it's better for Lucky to hear the truth from you? Lucky. Hey, thanks for coming up. Come on. You said it was about Elizabeth. In a roundabout way, yeah. Um, a part of recovery is making making amends with people you've hurt and taking responsibility for 
your actions, and Elizabeth is on the top of that list, and you're right behind her. Is that, that's why you wanted to see me to make amends? Well, it is, if I want to stay clean and get my life back with Elizabeth. I resented you for killing Manny, and listen, I was messed up real bad that night. <laughs> you probably saved my life, too. You know, I uh, never thanked you. Instead, I accepted a medal for something that I don't deserve. I hit bottom. I hit bottom bad, and I was trying to frame you for drug possession. I just want to save my career, impress Elizabeth. Instead, I was going to kill. But you didn't. Lucky, and you're, you're getting the help here that you need. And we, uh, we can all move on. No, not until you understand how sorry I am. I apologize completely. You've been a friend to me, especially to Elizabeth. I'm glad that she could turn to you when I let her down. Uh, if you need me to forgive you, I, for, I forgive you. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm glad you're getting help. I saw what Alan went through when he got addicted to pills. It was just, it's terrible, terrible disease. The night that I tried to frame you, I realized what I had uh, all to lose in this, and Elizabeth and Cameron, our, our baby, I almost threw it away. I hope you can work something out. You know, it's so weird how things fall together when you're trying to get your life back on track. Never guess who stopped by here. Rick Lansing. What did... What did Rick want? He was gonna give me my job back. Oh, it's because Elizabeth. He just wanted me to be able to support her and Cam and our new baby. Huh. You know, we may be on opposite side, but I'm, I'm glad that you have a job to go back to. It's the start of a second chance. Once I get out of here, I'm gonna give Elizabeth and Cameron and our new baby the best life I can. Can we go inside? Uh, yeah, sure. Are you, are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm just fine. Um, what, are you, what are you doing, Elizabeth? What? I always wanted to dance with you. What? Please. I need you to dance with me right now. Your pet house has been bugged. The police say they've ended the surveillance, but I don't really know. I stand swept my whole apartment earlier today. There's no, there's no way anybody can hear what we're saying. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. So go ahead, just tell me what, what you need to tell me. Okay, uh, Rick was listening last night. He knows you could be the father of my baby. 